number 10. Simplify cosine x times tangent x all divided by cosecant x plus cotangent x sine x over secant x. Now here's what I need to do. I need to look at this, and I'm going to first, uh, normally when we try to add two fractions, we get a common denominator. But one thing I can do first is try to get rid of the fractions by using reciprocals. I know that the reciprocal of cosecant is sine. What that means is if you flip it, meaning it's on the denominator, if you move it to the uh, numerator, you'd be taking a reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal of cosecant? Answer, sine x. So I'm going to first do this. I'm going to move that up, and over here I'm going to do the same thing. What's the reciprocal, reciprocal of secant? It is cosine. So this would be cotangent x sine x, and again, secant becomes a cosine x. So that's my first step that I've done here. I've done the reciprocal identity, and I'll just kind of write that off to the side, the reciprocal identity. Now next, I'm going to change these to sines and cosines see if anything can cancel. So cosine stays the same. Tangent is the same thing as sine over cosine. And then this is a sine plus cotangent, psi y cos x tangent is y over x, so this is x over y. This would be cosine over sine x times, we keep the sine there, and we also keep the cosine there. And from this step, we call this step right here, uh, changing uh, from tangent to sine over cosine and cotangent to cosine over sine. This step is called the quotient identity. And now we can do some algebra. I can see that this and these two things cancel out. And over here I have a sign and a sign that cancel out. So that's algebra there. And this algebra can lead me to what is sine times sine? Sine squared x plus we have cosine times cosine, which is cosine squared x. Now I'm going to go look at the formula chart because I have two things squared. And I see that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. That's the Pythagorean identity. So sine squared plus cosine squared is going to equal 1. This right there becomes 1. And this is my answer. That simplifies because of the Pythagorean identity.